Okay, back on the river for another chat. Uh, pardon the the gym attire. I was at the gym earlier, but hey, you know what? You get to admire my chicken legs, right? So today I was thinking in the car about sins, right? You know, the seven deadly sins. And I'm not religious. I wouldn't really say I am. But I've been thinking about sins in the context of people messing up, right? You, you do something in the past that you regretted, you said something wrong, you, you lied to your friend or whatever, and how people just beat themselves up over things that they've done, right? Or lapses in judgment. And it's, it's a balance, right? Because I think about how there are definitely people, you know, YouTubers or whatever, that have done things or said things that definitely need a bit of reprimanding, right? Like the the most immediate example is uh, Sniper Wolf versus Jack's films, right? How she doxed him and, you know, she's getting a pretty pretty big beating online over it. And, and that's like warranted, right? But then you've got just like the most mundane, innocuous shortcomings, like I said, you know, maybe you... You, you're a little bit greedy with your money or, or something, right? Everyone's got a different sense of, uh, of morality. But little things, right? Like maybe you screwed up in the past and that's just been haunting you. You're replaying that same memory over and over again. And I just feel like it's really self-destructive, you know? Um, when I was 15, 16, you know, all my friends, we were like sophomores in high school. We thought that edgy humor was just the funniest thing in the world. That making fun of, like, it sounds bad, but, like, making fun of, like, tragedies or, you know, how people will make jokes about certain topics that are really distasteful or we think that, like, certain words that are really bad or funny. It was, it was like, stupid. It was us being stupid young guys. And I wouldn't say that I'm particularly proud of that phase of my life. Um, but I would, I would say that I've grown as a person. And that's the important thing, right? When you sin, and I, I mean, that's just the term that I'm using because it's, it's what makes most sense, cause, but I know it's religious. But you can't change the past, right? Like, you can't go back and, like, I can't go back and undo the bad jokes that I made with my friends, right? But I recognize that I'm not that person anymore, and I've grown as a person. And while I wish I didn't say those things, at least I recognize that I am more mature now. And I'm like, okay, let's not, let's not do that again. I was thinking about Mel Gibson, right? He was a, he was a big actor in the 90s and 2000s. He was in like Braveheart and, and he directed some movies. And he had some moment, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago where, you know, he said some naughty things about the Jewish people and, and people didn't like that. And for a while, people were like, Mel Gibson is just a terrible person. No one should work with him. That's the end of his career, right? And while he definitely got, you know, pretty ostracized for a while, I don't think people really care as much now because they recognize that it was so long ago and Mel has probably grown as a person. He's probably not that person anymore and maybe he just had a bad moment. He had a lapse in judgment where he, you know, had hatred or ignorance in his heart and he's recognized and reconciled the fact that he's not that person anymore. People will say things that they don't mean, and in the moment it feels really hateful or it feels really cruel, but everyone's just human. Like, you've done things that you regret, I've done things that I regret, and while we all wish we could undo those things, you just have to recognize that humans mess up sometimes. Like, of course you would hope to go through your entire life being this goody-two-shoes, spitting image, you know, perfect morality person, but... It's just not going to happen, you know? There was another example I was thinking about with prisons, right? And how there's a very stark contrast between American prisons and Scandinavian prisons. And I was watching a video about Finnish prisons, and there was this one video showing this guy who was like, he was in prison for a really bad crime, you know, something that in the States would give you life in prison, but he had like a pretty sprawling bedroom, he had a TV, he got to go to class and learn things. And while this is not a take on um, the political issues around the prison system, but it was interesting to see a perspective where someone that has committed a really bad sin or mistake is not being super punished for it. They're not being overwhelmingly destroyed where their entire life, their entire career is just gone, you know? And they're given a chance to rehabilitate themselves, to 
come back into society and recognize that they had a really bad lapse in judgment, but it's okay. And through time and effort and training, they can become a good moral person once again. And I mean, there are definitely criminals that, that should be in prison for life, but most people are just flawed humans. And there's going to be times where maybe you don't commit a crime, but you do something that you wish you hadn't. But all you really can do, given that the past is the past, is just recognize that you made a mistake and that you're not going to do it again. Because sins and mistakes, they definitely should be held to a certain standard if you just keep doing it over and over again. And you, you just cannot seem to reconcile your ways. But if you just had one bad time, you just you, you screwed up, man. You did something stupid. Just remember that you're human. And while that should not be a crutch, because a lot of people will use that as a crutch, it is definitely true that you're not always going to be perfect. You're not always going to do the right thing at the right time. And the best you can do is just keep improving. If you're the same person you were 10 years ago, then you're doing something wrong, dude. Just keep growing, keep learning, and that's the best you can do. All right, guys. I'll catch you later.